Let's start. Today we will see how to implement a recycler view swipe to delete item functionality in the Kotlin Android. Let's see the project structure. At the app level build.gradle file, write this plugin. Here we have the main activity, a model class, and an adapter class. And in this UI, we have the activity underscore main.xml file, which is the layout of the main activity. And the row underscore item. XML file, which is the layout of the single row of the recycler view. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have a recycler view inside a constraint layout. And in the row underscore item.xml file, we have a text view inside a constraint layout. Let's see the Kotlin code now. This is a model class with a string variable as the data member. This string will be shown in each row of the recycler view. These are the imports. This is the adapter class. These are the data members, and this is how we initialize them. In the onCreateViewHolder function, this is how we inflate the row underscore item.xml file. In the bindViewHolder function, this is how we get the data from the model class and set it in the text view. In the getItemCount function, this is how we get the count of the number of items in the recycler view. This is the ViewHolder class. When an item in the recycler view is clicked, we show a toast here. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members. Here we have an array of string data, which we will use to populate the recycler view. In the onCreate function, first, we create an instance of the adapter class. Meanwhile, we call the getData function, which gives us the data that we will show in the recycler view. Then we set up the recycler view attributes like its orientation, animation, item decoration, etc. At last, we call the set swipe to delete function. This is the set swipe to delete function where we implement the functionality to delete an element from the recycler view when it is swiped left. Also, when the element is deleted, we show a snack bar with an undo button. If the undo button is clicked, we restore the deleted element. This is the get data function that converts the data from array format to array list format, as the recycler view adapter needs the data in array list format. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement a recycler view swipe to delete item functionality in Kotlin Android. Thank you.